to ready and go. So in this one, you were given this right angle triangle ABC with an angle of 30 at C, so an angle of 60 and 90. And they said if you picked a point at random within this triangle, what's the probability it's closer to AB than it is to AC? Well, the distance of a point to a line is the distance perpendicular to it. So the thing to do here would be find the line of points which are equidistant, then on one side of it they're closer to AB and the other side they're closer to AC. Well, to be equidistant, these two parts would have to be the same, so that would form a kite. So I'll just rub that out, which means there'd have to be an axis of symmetry through here, so I'd have to draw a line at 30 degrees on both sides. Then any point in that line will be the same distance on both sides. So a point on this side will be closer to AB, a point on that side will be closer to AC. So that would extend all the way down to the bottom to here. There's two ways you could do that. One simple way would be just to say this. So that point there where it hits, that length there, if I complete this triangle here, if it had been drawn properly, makes a kite. I've got an axis of symmetry down here, 30-30. So that's still a 30-60 triangle, a 30-60 triangle, and that's still a 30-60 triangle. These two triangles are equiangular, but they're not just similar. That corresponding side in both of them, the side that faces the 30, is the same length in both, so they're congruent. In fact, you've got three congruent triangles. So for a point to be closer to AB, it must lie in this triangle. So what fraction of the points lie in this triangle? Well, that's one out of the three bits, so they are straight away. The probability is going to be one third. Now, another way, a longer way, would be instead of considering the kite and then the three congruent triangles, just to say, well, what's the ratio of this triangle to the whole triangle? Well, you've got 60-30 triangles. The ratio of sides for a 60-30 triangles is 1 to 2 to root 3. So, taking the whole triangle, if you call that side H, then the base of it will be root 3 times it, as in the base over root 3 is the same as the height over 1. So the base would be the root 3h. So the area of that triangle would be a half base times height. What's the base of this triangle? Well, it's time the, the other way around. In this one, its base corresponds to the 1. So b over 1 is the h over the root 3. So for this triangle, its base is the height divided by root 3. Now when you work out their areas, the area is a half base times height, or the base times a half height. Here again it's the base times a half height. So the fraction will just be this base divided by the whole base. So the probability would be the area of the small triangle, which is h upon root 3 for the base, if you like, times half height, or I'll just put in times half height, over, that was an h, this one, which is root 3h. OK, times a half height. All those parts cancel out, and you're just left with 1 over root 3 over root 3. Multiply the top and the bottom by root 3, and you're left with 1 third.